The periodic table of elements is a tool that scientists use because it gives us a wealth of information about the chemical elements. As you can see, I've made it home and I've attempted to assemble a periodic table here. I love using these tiles because they're color coded and they've coded the elements according to the families or groups that they belong to. Now, the groups on a periodic table are gonna go down or vertical, and you can see them by these colors here. And our periods are gonna go across horizontally. Now, each group has properties that are specific for those particular elements. For instance, this blue group here, group one, these elements are the alkali metals. These metals are the most reactive of all metals. And you see someone there that you are familiar with, sodium. Over here on the very far end, the other far end of the periodic table, this group is known as the noble gases. These are called noble gases because they are inert, meaning they are unreactive. They don't form bonds with any other elements naturally. The other groups on the periodic table here, these are the alkaline earth metals. Here in the center, these are all of your transition metals. And we have transition metals that are familiar to you as well, like iron, nickel, copper, zinc, silver, and gold. All transition metals. And the other groups here, the boron group, the carbon group, and the nitrogen group, they also have similar properties, 